so early. <laughs> when I wake up, take a knee, ask the Lord a few favors. Can you please watch over me? And can you answer my prayers? Shit, players only live once, and I'm a son. Hey, hey. Oh, shit, and we're recording. Hey, thank y'all for tuning back in. We're I'm fine wine. I'm innocence. And we got a special guest with us, Mr. Real Early. So, uh, hallelujah, man. Yeah. Bless that y'all for having me. Oh, for sure. You already pouring yeah. up. Man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need to hug them up. You know what I'm saying? That's all good, man. Yeah, so, yeah. hey, so can you tell the people what you're doing? You know what I'm saying? Who you are? Man, real early, man. That way. I feel like I'm the hottest artist in the city. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Coming out the east side. You know what I'm saying? I'm take my jacket off, then. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Fourth album on the way, you Come know what I'm saying? Players Only Live Once will be dropping February 14th. You know what I'm wow. saying? If you haven't heard of me, I got albums with my brother A Gang, Cross the River. I personally feel like one of the uh, slept on classics, also. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So, But we got a lot of work on the way. Okay. You know what I mean? All right, all right, yeah. all right. So, what's your story, man? You know what I'm saying? Why did you become a rapper? Man, I. I I became artist. Let me, uh, let, me, let me respect you. I'm artist, right, right, right. Well, I I became an artist because I mean I just want, I I love I love the the hustle behind it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I love music in general. You know, and I listen to the rap game right now. I feel like it's a lot of openings. You know what I mean? I feel like it needs something new. You know what I mean? So it gives me a little bit of energy to come out, try to put the city on the map in a different type of domain. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, I feel like as far as Music in general, you know what I mean? We need some new faces in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to be one of them. You know so what do you think you make music for? Mm -hmm. I made music for the underdogs, the hustlers. Yeah. The, the ones that right. had this, you know, struggle to get characteristics, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The ones they, they ain't think was going to win, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm the ones I do it for, you know, but even if you did win, and you know, we do it for you too, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, when you listen to my music, the East Side, you know, the St. Louis, in general, you gonna get that feel. You yeah. know what I mean? So that, that's how I'm coming. Okay. So what type of content do you create? You know what I'm saying? What what would be your genre? Like my genre, uh, it's definitely hip hop. Okay. You know what I mean? I guess you would consider it. Uh, like I say, I, I do it for the streets. You know what I mean? I do it for the people. You know what I mean? I do it for the underdogs. So obviously, the streets sometimes just happen to be the underdogs. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna definitely speak grind, pain. You know what I mean? And overcoming obstacles. You know what I mean? You know, hallelujah, you know what I mean? That's something <laughs> that I preach, you know what I'm saying? So we got to make it. That's yeah. what it is, you know? So what has the experience been like since, you know, from the jump to, you know, now? Because you definitely travel. Yeah, uh, music been a blessing for me because before music, I would say I probably wasn't traveling that much. You know what I mean? It's given me an opportunity to meet people, you know what I mean? And network across the areas, you know what I mean? I've been to Texas at least about five times out the past year, so I got a good networking out there. Man, I've been rapping. I'm guess I'm closing in on my second full year. Okay. You know, so in a mm -hmm. two year career, I definitely didn't touch you know a decent amount of, of territory, especially throughout our area. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh. So you went to you know a couple colleges. You mm -hmm. see, uh, where's the first? Like you went to what? Uh, ECU. Uh, no, nah, it was Virginia Commonwealth. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we went yeah, to yeah. Virginia Commonwealth last year. Uh, like I said, me and my boy Gang, mm -hmm. Trey, you know what I mean? Shout out to Trey, he was just on Fox 2 News this morning, oh, yeah, if y'all seen that. Back. You know, he got a lot of good so stuff. So how was that, like that atmosphere out there? What was like different from performing in St. Louis and East St. Louis? Man, it was love. It was like they was they they didn't know what was to expect, so their eyes was open and they grasped the situation rather than being in the city. You know, I guess people might already know who you is. They might want to, you know, not really tune in. The harder crowd to, to to prove, you know, prove in the city. Yeah. You know, our city there throw tomatoes in. <laughs> okay. If you ain't came up to play hard, you know what I mean. But you know, I've been able to touch the marquee a few times. So, but, that, but it's the energy you, you provide, though. Know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Cause, and people feel it. Right? Yeah. It's, and so when you go to different places, it's, it's authentic. Right. And right, you right, already right. like, first off, I'm coming. You don't know me, so I'm genuinely coming. As, as, and you don't be on no bullshit though. Yeah. Nah, like, no. Nah. You, know, you a real genuine ass dude, so it'd be like, it's already. You know what I'm saying? Done. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, like in the most time when I come in the building, you know what I'm saying? I don't be bringing too many people with yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like sometimes a lot of situations you can't control everybody' energy. Yeah. You know, yeah. People get off these little drinks and get a little. Mm -hmm. Gas in their system and start, you know, but, you know, I'm, I'm here, man, you know, I'm yeah. ready to work, you know, so. We see you work. That's real. Um, so what, so just, you know, since you've been able to travel, right, 
what have you had to, have to sacrifice to keep on doing that to keep on expanding your brand? And what does that actually look like? Man, time and money and sleep. Yeah. Okay. Sleep. Sleep. Like I'm sleep. Gonna. You know, you know, like this is a situation where it's a self investment. There's going to be times when you shooting and you bricking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, you know, at the earlier stages, I thought like paying for shows is sometimes was worth it. You know what I mean? You yeah. might pay for a show, don't nobody come, but you spent yeah, this yeah. amount of money that you know but to get on the stage, just to yeah. get on the stage and be seen. But it was, you know what I mean? It, so yeah. I understood that at the very beginning that like, okay, you willing to sacrifice? You gonna have to sacrifice. <laughs> you willing to you sacrifice? You gonna have to sacrifice. You you not gonna think like, okay, yeah, I'm the hottest and everybody gonna believe that and the, next, the nigga next to you don't feel like he the hottest and man. make sure that everybody believe that. So, you know, I guess the biggest thing I say is you gotta really understand what it takes, the, the work and the discipline behind it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's real. Yeah. So when you write music, right, you know what I'm saying, like have any of your songs ever, you know, helped you get through a situation? And you know, what I mean, what song would that be? Man, my first song ever was Hallelujah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I mean, but as I didn't, I guess, mature through the music, mature through the music, um, I got, you know, I like prayers. My my most recent, uh, one of my most recent videos, prayers. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a song that definitely give me, give me through a lot. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Obviously, I, if you listen to the lyric content, you know what I mean? I'm a dude who really believe in faith, so. You know, that's, that's a song that really yeah. get me through it, a lot. Nah, it touched, you know it mean? touched. That was a genuine energy. song for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the moment, moment yeah. you heard it, man, it was, it was, it was me. It was like, nah, this. If you don't feel it, like you ain't out there going through it, or <laughs> like, or you, like, you just ain't gonna understand if you don't feel it because you ain't going through it. You ain't going through you it. Going that's through what it. I'm saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> so for, for some people, they might wake up and say. You know, they had their prayers, but it's probably not even to get washed over by the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But around here, we number, you know, we number one, number top five every year mm -hmm. in, in the statistics. Mm -hmm. So how why would you not ask for them to not watch over you when you're seeing innocent people, you know, coming up with losses and, and families, you know, have to get over situations like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. You know, that's just something that, you know, I feel like our city could relate to easily. Easy. You know? Easy. And through your music, you definitely can hear that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it be hit. Yeah. You know, not a lot of people's stuff, like, actually hit. Like, yeah. like when you throw it to the wall, like, forget it. Yeah. It, it stick. It's just stick. Yeah, it's yeah stick. for sure, for sure. It stick. So what has your life, like, been, like, you know, from the beginning to, like, in the middle of it and basically now? Well, I mean, I, I grew I was born in Philly, if that's what you want. Oh, like, so are you a Philly fan, though? Yeah, I mean, I, as far as sports-wise, yeah. You know, my, I guess you would say, my one of my favorite, I always want the Sixers to win, but I ain't really cared about them like that, I'll yeah. be honest with you, you know. I like Allen Iverson though. You know what I'm saying, yeah, growing up, Donovan McNabb, you know, you know what I'm saying, yeah, that type of. I, they are the best athlete ever come. You know, right, he won. Greatest. Yeah, he cold, he cold, nah. He cold, though. Great, he cold. He cold, though. He cold. Brian, you know. I mean, Brian. <laughs> AI was 6'6", that's, 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 if AI was 6'6". If AI was 6'6", I mean, you know. He would have to be like 40 though. He was, nice. he was nice. He was nice. A he ring every year. He was nice. But you know, like I said, I was born in Philly. You know what I'm saying? So I've always, I guess you would say, been an inner city dude. You know what I mean? Came from a, you know, I guess you know, I got a good family. You know yeah. what I mean? But as far as just the environment and what's going on, it's always been the streets. You know, around it. You know what I mean? You can have a good. You know what I mean? Base, but when you stepped out outside the porch, it just was what it was. was. Yep. You, know, you get what I'm saying? So, I, you know, been on the same block since I was nine years old at this point. So, you know, I'm good. You know what I mean? But it's been a lot of ups and downs that I had to, you know, overcome by myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and I put that into my music, and that's another way. You know, I, that's another reason why music got outlet. You feel? Mm -hmm. Do you wish you would have started earlier? So, I, I played around with music before. You know, before I just started just like saying, I'm just gonna be serious with it mm -hmm. completely. I, but uh, I mean, I guess you could say, I, I definitely wish I probably could have stayed consistent with it throughout that time, cause, but I was hooping. Mm -hmm. So you was getting, you're getting it in. I was getting it in, you know, got the degrees and whatnot, Talk you know what I mean? So, you know, mine, like, you know, so I had to do my thing first and then, you know, this ended up being more of a secondary thing, but yeah. now it's a primary situation for me now. So that's what I want to go hard at, and that's what I've been doing lately. Mm -hmm. You know, that's real. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's definitely real. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Uh, what was like actually needed getting there? Like, how much social engagement do you think you need? 
needed, like discipline, you know, um, like time management. How much was that, you know, the imperative of that? Well, uh, as far as music? With, you know, with yeah, you. Yeah, with you your time. Your role. Yeah. Uh, so that, let me let me get the question again. Like, what do you think that would actually was needed? Like, do you think you had to, you know, go out all the time to, you know, network get with people? Oh, okay. Just talk to people. You know, right, I got you. Okay, okay, I got you. Well, I mean, obviously, when I playing with going to college for real, yeah. having basketball, I had a big network kind of before music. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I started rapping, people was like, damn, this nigga just started rapping? But then it was kind of decent. They were like, I don't know, he might want to really it. keep. You might want to try one more time, and mm -hmm. before they knew it, I had dropped a mixtape in four months. Like I, I swear to God, I had made Hallelujah, and then four months later, I had, I had twelve songs, and I put a mixtape out called Everything Red, and that was on basically Dead Ears. But that's the that's the mixtape that Eastside Anthem on, and that's the mixtape they like it on. Mm -hmm. They like it every time I do a photo. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you like play that thing again? You know what I'm saying? Like, like that just really jumped. Good. That was like my first my first five songs was was. Was, was he, like the ones they was going crazy. He, I just jumped out like. I mean, that. like I know that man. You feel me? Like yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm like, hey, I, I, I was deep. I was deep. Yeah. Hey, let me check on the camera real quick. Yeah, I need a lighter and some wine, bro. What do you think wasn't needed on your journey? Wasn't needed. Uh, haters. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. see, see, and that's a different <laughs> approach. So why? Because like I'm fine with things. You're, you I'm fine with it. You, like you doing something right. That and then at the same time, it's like, especially if it's if it's not about your character. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if it's just hate on, like, dang, this nigga really grinding, and I'm gonna try to knock him down because he grinding. Like that type of hate. Like bring that. I got you. I know how to overcome your obstacles. Right. I got you. Let me right. maneuver through you anyway. But see, in my situation, see, that's what I'm getting right now. You know, that's cool. Yeah, you know that's cool. I just feel like you know what I mean, and and our game right now in the music industry, especially with the rap artists, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. The, the way that you get solidified these days is is a, to me is a hating ass way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got what you got to be the case. Uh, okay. Three times. Okay. You especially okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. What I gotta got to survive to get because it. yours would be. You know what I mean? What I gotta. Yeah. What makes you what makes you real these days? Right. You feel me? So to me, the media is a bunch of haters. <laughs> mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? That's just what I'm saying. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I don't really know who the haters is. But the, the, to me, the, the the people that's authentic or the people that's, you know, really coming from something and 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 and, and sometimes have a straight, straighter way to get to where they're going, they, they ain't gonna get considered as, as authentic as somebody who had Beat a, a murderer, got caught five, five times, Facts. or Facts. had you know what I'm saying? So, hey, Facts. Facts. I feel you on that. All right, so, so we got this Spitfire oh, round that we go through. Spitfire. 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 What's Spitfire? I mean, first thing that come to your head when you get asked these questions. Yeah, answer some questions and you just gotta, hey, first thing that come to your head. First thing that do it. Spitfire. All right, All right. <laughs> here we go. Is there anybody you want to work with or meet? And just in general, and in the real thing in the world, mm -hmm. the baby. That's right. Okay, I like that. Okay. Um, if you're gonna be in any type of movie, what movie would you be in? Uh, a hustler movie, gangster movies. All right. Would you be the shooter or would you be the boss? I'm always the boss. So you ain't making no movies. I'm making all the call. All I do is call plays. Like us the last shit. You know what I'm okay. Belichick. Belichick. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong. Probably like John Madden. All right. Would you Would okay. you act though? Hmm? Would you act? Would, you would I act? Yeah. I've acted before. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was just working. It was cool. I mean, I was just working with you know Vegas is on life threatening. Yeah. You know, uh, we should be continuing that. You know, getting back to that. But you know, I've, I've acted before. I've also acted in the real life. Uh, it was like a hip hop. -er. Is that what you call hip hop? -er? Is that what it what? is? It was what a was hip hopper. Is that what it is? It's like a hip hopper. It was like a hip hop show. I mean, they was rapping in the show. It was acting and everything. Okay. A live show though. Okay. Real life. You know what I'm saying with King. Uh, uh, King. Uh, 
Nick King brother, Joe King, you know what I'm saying? He was the choreographer. Nick King, yeah. Nick King, okay. his big brother was the choreographer that, you know what I'm saying? Feel, see? Yeah, feel, so I've done acting before. Okay. Yeah, I've yeah, 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 I ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? Early pop. That's good. That's hard. Yeah, that's yeah. hard. Okay, there we go. What's the first thing you do or wake What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up in the morning? Hold on, first off. Take, take me. Ask <laughs> Lord a few favors. I don't know. Ask a few favors. Hey. Can you guys watch over me? That's all I do is ask a few favors. You know what I'm saying? This is you. This is you. I knew that one. Man, right. I mean, because obviously, you know, like I said, you know where we from, man. Any, you know, whether it's, it's a lot of, I guess you say, unexpected events that happen to younger age people out, mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. our age, you know, that we got to deal with, you mm -hmm. know, especially, you know, man like ourselves. I feel you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, hot or cold? Hot. All right. Emos or pie? Emos. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. This this just for, for the record book. This ain't even on here, right? Mm -hmm. Pops or eggs? Pops. <laughs> Talking about Eddie's? Fast Eddie's? Is that what that was called? Nah, Eddie's right there in Charlie. Oh, Pops Chicken. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking you niggas talking about Pops Club or Fast Eddie's and oh. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Pops. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Eddie's nigga. I got it in time. Yeah. You talking about my liquor stuff? See, Eddie's. I can say some. Eddie's, bro. We got yams, nigga. Oh! We talking about chicken. We talking about yams. Eddie's is legit. We talking about chicken. The chicken. Yes, bro. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's mm -hmm. real chicken, ain't no lemon pepper on it. I feel the lemon pepper side. That's what he like, that's what he like. That's because the pop's got the, it's the crack on it. That's what he like. That's the crack. That's yeah. the crack. Yeah. I felt that. You but they wings, and over there you get a breath. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. So you, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a whole difference, you know what I'm saying? This is what you prefer. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure you can have some sprinkles and lemon pepper on it. <laughs> okay, hey, talk to him. Hey, I got to figure it ain't lemon pepper, you feel me? Because it might not be the same. Hey, no, Eddie do his thing, though. I feel you. I'm going to have to try that. I'm going to have to pull up All right, what's your favorite pair of shoes of all time? The French Blue 13s. What you saying? Okay. The French Blue 13s, the white and blue, great French Blue 13s, man. You George, you know what time it is. Ain't no questions about that, man. Keep okay. Hallelujah. Blessings. But I wouldn't know that. I'm a, I wore Reebok. Yeah. You wore Reebok? Yeah. Reebok. Yeah. Reebok. Yeah. 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 They big at the back, but they are. They're cool. But I mean, <laughs> niggas wear, what, what they wear, them big ass sketches. <laughs> Uh, they were, niggas wearing the big ass. I don't think niggas wearing sketches. He hey, came to my school wearing some sketches. He came to that sport in the team. It was on. Nobody came over there. No sketches. You put the classes on you straight. Hey, maybe some Sakonis. Sakonis? Oh, God. Now, Sakonis. Yeah, you were niggas some Sakonis. You used to slide in. You know what I mean? Niggas didn't wear Sakonis where I'm from. Nah, Sakonis is from Mason, Mason. But they ain't wearing no sketches, neither. I mean, yeah. where you from? Yeah. They was wearing sketches. Niggas were sketches. Like, niggas, they were feline. What, the rolling ponies? The, 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 the ones that skate. Niggas oh. were really. Like, niggas, when they were oh, younger, yeah. they were wearing hillies back in the day. I think I was over that age when they came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never, so, I never had a pair. Yeah, I wanted a pair yeah, of them. So I could slide through one. I could, okay. Yeah. No, I could slide I through one. But, you know. What's your favorite drink? Uh. My favorite drink, like alcohol, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, shit, anything. Uh, and be on shit, you hear me? Like, my favorite drink. My know? favorite drink, man, I ain't gonna lie, they make me mad, bro. But you know, I like the Mystics, them little blue Mystics. Oh. They don't really fill you up like that. Nah, they don't make it they gonna, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna, But they gonna do something for a few seconds. They weren't my favorite drink. <laughs> I get that with my I'm favorite drink when it comes to the liquor, you know, I like me some champagne, you know what I'm saying, or maybe some Hennessy, you know. Okay. Hallelujah. Blessings. Uh, what's your favorite sports team? Favorite sports team and Rams. Thank you. St. Louis Rams, LA Rams, man. Okay. Gotta be my favorite sports team. I mean, I'm a LeBron fan, but I ain't gonna say like the Lakers my favorite team though, like mm -hmm. ever. I can't. More of my favorite team though, but I want the Lakers to win. Because that's, 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 that's all. That's all. That's just what I'm, I'm not mad at but, LeBron there, so I got to stick. But if it come down to my most team that I never trade from, it gotta be LA Rams. Right? I gotta stick to the Rams. Right? I feel that. Mm -hmm. That's just fair. If you had one superpower, mm -hmm. what would it be? One superpower. Bring back lives. Whoa! You back? Mom. We got. Hold on, wait. We we here. We gotta hit that. We Bring back lives. 
Bring back lives, man. Ain't nobody said that answer. Nobody. If I could bring back lives, you know what I'm saying? That'd be something that everybody wish they could do. I'm pretty sure people have lost some people that can't get them back, you know? So, if I could do something, that'd be, that'd be the superpower that ain't nobody else been able to do. Everything that. really, man. I feel that. For real. If you, if you were stuck on an island mm -hmm. and you only had three things, what? what would you bring? Three things. Three things. My woman. Thank you. So imperative. Uh, like I, I guess your, your your woman, your family. You know what I'm saying? I guess three things. You know, I guess your woman. You know, so woman. My strap. I'm not mad. You hear me? Like because hey, because hey, it's like I'm like, protected it. Hey. One of my strap, man. Unlimited bullets with it, you feel me? And shit. Yeah. Extra hunting. pair of drawers. Extra pair of drawers, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, like. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be trained to that? Bro, cause he gonna survive, bro. At that point, he gonna survive. He's like, I ain't gonna figure it out. How you gonna get off of it? He said he ain't planning on it. Okay, well, in a boat. Okay, in the boat. Hey, I said draws. I don't know what the hell I was like. I thought about my woman, you feel me? <laughs> you was like, I'm going to hang some fire. I'm going to make them. I got my woman. I ain't going to lie. If I'm, 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 I'm stranded with my woman, I feel like all we probably going to do is just make love the whole time. <laughs> if we on the, on the beach by ourselves, right, we either we going to find out what we're going to eat, and we probably just going to. And at the end of the day, I got my strap so I can kill whatever we about to I'm eat. Right? Tell you. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm with that. There's logic. I'm with I fucks with it. There's logic. <laughs> if you could work with anybody, dead or alive, who would it be with no language barriers? No language barriers, dead or alive, who would I work with? Mm -hmm. mm. Man, Jeezy. Okay. Yeah. Jeezy. I mean, not nah, first, I'm going to say my dog. Jeezy or me. You know what I mean? It'd be probably. That, those are my those are my favorite artists. Okay. So at the end of the day, you know what I mean. I, I feel like when I listen to their music, they've always gave me the most motivation, the most energy. To, you know what I mean to, to do something yeah. different. You yeah. know what I mean to do something better. You know what I'm saying. And so out of those two artists, you know what I mean. I would like to work with them. Are you gonna work with them at this point? Yeah. What's your favorite Jeezy bar? My favorite Jeezy bar, man. I used to hit the kitchen lights, cockroaches everywhere. Dang. Hit the kitchen lights, and I smoke fours everywhere. <laughs> that was deep, you know. That ain't what they mentioned about my favorite woman. That's the person that came away right Amen. now. Even though that was right there, that just show you what he was coming, what he's speaking, speaking about. Mm -hmm. He was coming from something, you know what I'm saying? That's what I like out of rap. So those two rappers, that's what they speak about. Dream chases, dream thug motivation. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's all that is. That one on one. Legendary. You can't beat that. Mm -hmm. Weekend or weekdays? Weekdays. Okay. Why? That's when you're making money. Weekends, everybody think it's party time, so you just, everything you work for, you just want to relax and spend it, or you either going to relax, mm -hmm. or you're going to go out and then you think it's party time, so you really just enjoying something, enjoying your offspring, you know what I'm saying? But it's really, it ain't about nothing. Yeah. Money through Friday is when you put in the work. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what we say, man. We, we work on the weekends too. You know what I'm saying? Every day. Every yeah, day. you don't get a day yeah, off. Because once you're there, see, you can buy a week. Exactly. You can buy a month and be like, buy a year. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, buy a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So, how big do you think your cultural influence is? I feel like it's going to get bigger. Yeah. I feel like right now I haven't even really even touched the pedestal that I'm supposed to be at to really influence how I can influence. Mm -hmm. You know, like I say, you know, I, I'm not one of the dudes who come from, I guess you say, an inner city area that, that wasn't able to go get degrees or hoop or things that kind of see different. You know, I just mm -hmm. ended up coming back to where I was raised at. Mm -hmm. You know, but in the same sense, I give up most respect to where I met, you know, little kids all around my area look up to me. So, Hopefully, I get to a bigger platform to where they really know who I am, and when I get these opportunities to speak, you know, they can see the, you know, the intellect or whatever, you know what I mean, or what we got going on. You know, I hope the energy is positive that I'm giving off because that's all I want to bring to the situation. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So we got another segment. You know what I'm saying? This is new. Uh, and so we go social. We search your social media. You know what I'm saying? We're not like uh, you know stalking or nothing like that. But you know, we just go find some you know some things, and we're like, dang, that's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? We want you to explain it to your audience. You know what I'm saying? So when you posted this, what did you mean to? You? <laughs> I was in Vegas right there, and I was finna get some uh, gelato gas. Okay. Yeah, some good gas out one of the dispensers. It was extremely well. And it served its purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. yeah. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was smiling like that. For sure. Yeah. And uh and shit. Damn near a few days ago, last year well two years ago, you posted this picture, you know what I'm saying? What did it mean to you? Oh yeah, that's me and Grizz. Thanks. I mean, right then and there, I understood this shit. I was supposed to be, I, I was already on stage with them niggas, and I felt like I was, you know, I was able to hold my own right then and there. I know I was supposed to be on the biggest stage than where I was at. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know how the opportunity gonna come, but mm -hmm. from being on stage with Grizzlies, the buddy bags, you know, the biggest names around that people could really name for it. I did those same type of stages and really didn't have my own on, on music than most of the people ain't heard at the same time. Mm -hmm. Ain't never been no tomatoes. Throwing in my face and no crowd walk away on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I've been able to gain pretty much crowd control on most of the stages I've been able to touch. So I think that's how they you know gave, me, gave me confidence. Thanks. You know so do you got anything coming up? Like any events, performances? Um, North Texas. You know what I mean? We we still doing a lot of good stuff across the river right now. Okay. You know what I mean? Game. You know what I mean? Able to uh, network and, and go to the, a lot of the colleges still. So North Texas at the end of this month. All right. You know, um, I got some interviews coming up because I'm starting a campaign with for my, you know, the Polo album. Like I said, okay. you know, other than you know, obviously this is the first one, and I appreciate you all having. For sure. You know, yeah. I got a 105.1 set up soon, and then I got to go ahead and do 104.1 before the album drop. Like mm -hmm. I said, you know, if everything go well, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, February 14th. Players on there once gonna go ahead and Ooh, sit down and hit hey, the ankle. Hey, yeah, that's you Valentine's know it. Day. You know it. I'm that's Valentine's Day. Call it, call it a wrap on that one. Yeah, so. that, it, prayer's gonna be on there? Yeah, prayer's gonna be Say on no there. More. Yeah, yeah, I got so. a lot of good stuff on there, man. I'm trying to mm -hmm. tell you. It's gonna be. I just wanna, I just wanna call I just wanna man. say I wanna just shoot one problem. That's all I'm saying. You can do that. So, and we been, you know, we, this, well, this we, is, we tried to pull up look, that day we was at the uh the parade. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey, we was in there. We, we was, can definitely we do some, some promo, you know, hey, in the short drive. Sure. We got about three weeks. Hey. Three good yeah, weeks, three next week. Week. We just gotta make sure it happens. Cause it's been I've been holding up on it. Mm -hmm. But it's that time, it's time of the year. It's time. It's that time. It's time. Tell them to wake up. For sure. Well you hey, you got any questions for us? When you leaving? Uh, February. Tell, why don't you tell the people what you got going on next, man? Oh, man. So, well, if you don't know the line, I know you got the shoes going on. Max, we just live, you know, we keep on expanding. So, we going out to Phoenix for a little while. Uh, I'll be uh, pushing my brand out there and uh, doing a few things. So, that's why I'm, I'm leaving February 29th. My last day will be uh, that day. And I'll be pushing my way out to Phoenix for a little minute. And then, you know, after that, finding some new ways to keep on expanding. Right. For sure. Okay. And you said, you said you got the going away party. Facts. You don't know the date on that shit. You know, we, it's in the it's in the works. It's in the works. It's in the works. I want to grab Mike. I want to be able to grab Mike and do a song on that on, on your going away party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll do prayer, let me do prayers on your going away party. Facts. Oh, if you're going to be my going away party, I'm going to need two songs. Too. That's cool. I might need three. Whatever <laughs> you want, man. Just let me know. They like it. You feel me? Whatever you want. I'm going to need... You know what I'm saying? The song with prayers, you can do that you know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna need a few favors after that. Prayers, and they like it. And then what up? And then uh, a few favors. A few favors is prayer. Oh that's prayers, okay. I ain't I just I mean, it's prayers. This is prayers. Prayers. Yeah. All right. We was asking a few favors. That was that song. <laughs> when, when, we, when we woke up yeah. we for a fact. I ain't gonna hold you. Just have that two K. That's a legendary that's a legendary cover. That's when it all started. Oh facts. Facts. To be completely, I had drinking cat. Mm -hmm. If you had yeah, a drink, yeah, if you had drinking cat. So we watching right here. But you seen who was on the first one? Yeah, it was him. Not Michael. Mm -hmm. No, Michael was bogus because they wanted to put him as a roster player. Yeah, and he, he was, was like, just bald head and black. Yeah. Nigga knew who he was. Yeah. 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 Y
Mm-hmm. He was like, nah, I'm not signing nothing yet. Mm-hmm. So you got like any advice to like any upcoming or- artists you know, or artists that have been working and they looking for a breakthrough and they, but they scared to expand? Man, stick with the people that you started with. That's a you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's bars. I mean, just stick with the people that you really started. I'm not saying it like, but what I mean is, it's like, okay, once you find, I guess you say, momentum mm-hmm. or what's going well for yourself, hey. stick with it. Build from that. You get what I mean? Don't keep interacting and networking with people that's good, but bring them to what they, to what you're doing, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because you look at a situation like the baby, for example, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? All his beats and everything that he do, yeah. from the people that send it to him, they all sound, they're made for him now. Facts, no, they catered, they are. They're catered, catered for him. And he creating his own sound. Shoot, you got that down, shoot. Uh, Young Thug. That's, that's right. what I mean. They give that those are situations <laughs> where people, Lil Baby used to say, Lil Baby also, we just cut yeah. that up quick. You see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Before every song. Yeah. So I would just say, you know what I mean? Stick with the people that you started with. You know what I mean? Build organically. You know what I mean? To trust the process. Trust don't get upset when something ain't going your way or, or, or the time don't seem like it is as quick as you want it to be. Yeah. Because everything ain't happening overnight. Right. You know what I mean? You ain't the only one working. You know what I mean? And it yeah. might be somebody working harder than you. So, you know, you just gotta wait your time, man, and keep faith for it. You know what I mean? And if you want it, it's gonna happen. You can't quit though. Can't quit. Can't quit though. You can't quit. Can't quit though. <laughs> but they some people don't understand like Nothing's gonna be a handout, and Ooh. you gonna like mm-hmm. sometimes you gonna have like I watch Love and Hip Hop for the common teacher, so I, I gotta you know stay in tune with my students so I can be able to you know reach them on a certain level. But I've been watching one, and one girl she don't want to audition, and it's like if you want to get a certain part, no matter how good you are, or no no matter how good your co sign is, you still gonna have to audition for certain things. Mm-hmm. You can't take right. shit for granted. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, what was the I mean what was the question? Oh, not really even a question. It's more so like you seem to have been able to take action and then take accountability for those movements. Right. And some people never have that ability to be like the, it's like an in spite of factor. Yeah, this shit happened, but in spite of that, like I still got to get to the grind. Right. I still got to make sure that like yeah. this is it. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's no options. And no you options. Know what I'm no <laughs> options. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be a lot of distractions. It's gonna be some things that you know you're gonna have to definitely overcome. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Especially like I say, the money behind music is is what's really pushing the engine a lot of times right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's people that's really able to just buy their way into the industry mm-hmm. right now. You know what I'm saying? Over, uh, I guess you'll say, talent at times. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's people that's overworking people, but there's people that just got so much money or back end behind them or know somebody that. You know what I mean? And make a big difference, you know what I mean? Now that can become a first person situation, mm-hmm. you know. So, but you can't let it distract you, you yeah. know. That's true. You can't, you know, because, you know, like I say, around this area, you know, I, I about, you know what I'm saying, every day, and that, another artist should feel the same way, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying, out of two years, what I done did, the body work, the music that I done put, as many stages I done touched, the people that I done opened up for. Mm-hmm. Oh man, who's grinding? Who's grinding really as hard as that around this city? Who did that like that, like that? You know what I mean? I'm dead serious. I feel like if I don't win Hustle of the Year, then somebody's stats is wrong. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You know what I mean? You feel me? What are we doing? You know what I mean? Obviously, you know, everybody, like I said, always come back to money. But when you talk about somebody grind, you know what I mean? They be charging people like five hundred dollars to, 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 to open up at the marquee. I got it to the point where I ain't have to pay to go to perform at the marquee. Yeah, you get what I'm yeah. saying? Because they know I'm bringing it. Because they know, they know I'm, I'm bringing it. That's what I'm trying to say. They know I'm bringing it. They know I'm. I'm gonna get. They gonna give me a flyer. I'm gonna put it on the page. I'm gonna bring it to twenty to twenty five people mm-hmm. instead of you having to charge me that. I'm just gonna be able to bring more than that either the door or through what's gonna go on throughout the night. So how have you been able to transfer your commitment to the, to like to uh, all the things you do? Like if you you know you, you can play ball, you feel me? Uh, and you was top of your you know what I'm saying at the time when you did sell you, you sold cars on point in time, right? Cars, sell and cell phones. And cell phones. You, cell phones. you, you, you was traveling for that for work. Right, right, right. So how have you? How has your commitment and determination? You know what I'm saying? 
like how what what does that actually look like in in words? Because people you can tell people you know this is what it, this is what it is, right. but the interpretation may be wrong. Man, fair is not an option. You know what I mean? I like being the top of whatever I do. It's just what it is, you know what I mean? Like, why would we do it half ass? Yeah. You know, we gonna sign up for a 40 hour job, why you gonna be in that 20 hours when they got you clocked in for 40? When you're in there, you might as well make the best out of the situation. Mm -hmm. of hang this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Cause you ain't gonna mm -hmm. never get what you deserve out of the situation if you have ass. You know, so and I, as far as the music, that's why I've been going so hard with it. You know what I mean? As far as like I say, players only live once. That's gonna be my fourth project within, you know, my first two and a half, you know what I mean, finishing my second year, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And consistent. Yeah, consistent. I'm trying to stay as consistent as possible, you know what I mean? I got a decent amount of videos on YouTube. I still do performances and things of that sort, but after players only live once drop, it needs to, people need to understand, elevation is it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm here, you know what I mean? So as far as, the little small performances and stuff like that, that type of stuff is gonna it's gonna be different now. We you know we gotta work we we working a little bit yeah, more now. Because nah, yeah. we done did those mm -hmm. things. But people don't realize that but we really done did those things. <laughs> you know. That's real. Like, you know, so I, I think I, I know somebody I want you to work with. Who? You know what I'm saying? My boy Justin Burst. Mm. How did you I, me and him rap we and him just rap just yet two days ago. You know that's my brother. Blood brother? Not blood, but you know. But close enough yeah, to we be from the same city. The Cater, yeah, the Cater. So yeah, yeah. I want y'all to work together. We and him just hollering at each other. I'm all right, we definitely gonna knock out a song. I got a song already that I want him on that I know That's when it. I give him the beat, he gonna yeah. know what it is. What it is. And okay. I'm gonna let you hear it before I leave. So that's yeah. just what it is. That's just how serious it is. Okay. I already got the concept of it and everything. That's good. Yeah. If you like it, when we link it, we're gonna do it. It's going, it's going to make magic, bro. Yeah, he's nice. He's doing his thing thing. Thanks. Congratulations awesome. to him. Yeah, all that. All that. Yeah. And I think y'all together, y'all y'all pack a punch. Yeah. yeah. I think so, too. I think so, too. We can put a good look. We can put something good together. Yeah. And if y'all did like a little EP, like three songs, that shit be Got to do, give him four, oh, six, yeah, give him four, four, six, six, four, six, six, like, six, so. Because y'all diverse, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gene, like, you can do any style. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, yeah man. Like, you yeah. diverse, so I think yeah, yeah. he can do the same thing. I, I, I've been trying to get some, I'm getting some more songs out for the women, too, because, you know, yeah. I talk a lot of grind, you know, yeah. and rap, street shit, you know. But, but, but it's love behind it. I mean, it's love, love behind, behind love it, but behind. I need to get my lady, you know, I need to bring my lady. You know, Fine Wine be having tracks. Oh, Fine Wine be having tracks? Didn't you like Patron and Ice? Did I like, you feel me? That was your <laughs> shit, bro. <running. laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's been That's what I'm saying. We we outside, but yeah. they ain't really understand how many burners you really got yeah. under the cut. Rick, they right here. They like in the cut, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when they splash, it's gonna be a waterfall behind this shit. I might need to burst my uh, out. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Jane playing. I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Man, man, man. Forever notice, that's my album call. Forever notice? Yep. Yeah. You sing it? No, I ain't sing it. I'm a rapper. You gonna rap? Yeah. And that's what it do. The beach is on it. DCR? Yeah, But well, that's what's going on then. But that's what time of the year it is. We all work. We're early. Yeah. We're early. We gotta stay consistent with it. That's push. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm with it. It's gonna turn out fire. Yeah? It's gonna turn out fire. It's gonna have to. Yeah. I mean, no I'm just, I'm up, bro. That's, that's, that's all right. I mean, we already at the bottom. I mean, we ain't, you know, we ain't all, ain't nobody, you know. We just push past the surface. You know? Yeah, we, we try to get somewhere different. That's all this up here. Different. Mm -hmm. We so try to figure out a different, you know, energy, like, man. Yeah, like yeah. I told somebody, this feels like a whole different century, man. I need them bad women in them jacuzzis with the big booties. And, okay. and hey, Fresh I, need, I need them on my camera. Boots. I need them. And I need them on my camera. Could like, you imagine just waking up with mimosas and just chilling? Yeah. But that comes from hard work. work. They period. was working hard. Like, That's how they able to do that. You, yeah. Like, so, I sacrifice you know what I mean? They was exhausted for a while I'm before they was here. able to relax I'm, like that. See, but that's what I'm trying to tell us. We got to do that. Yeah. We can get there. Yeah. We can get the jacuzzis at the crib. You know what I'm saying? With the, a whole bunch of these. You said with a case load? That ain't that what you asked. Uh, that's all I'm trying to do. Pizza. You know what I mean? I ain't hey, too much really? too thought Evo about pizza, that. Huh? They're cool with that. I ain't gonna never change where we came from. 
I ain't gonna go and you know, start start eating like steaks. You feel me? Lots nah, nah, nah. Eat steaks today. That's what Big Mel said. Hey, eat hey, it. The oodles and noodles. Oodles and noodles. and noodles. Hey, he got a movie. He got a movie about to come out. Oh man, crazy I watched by it. Jada and uh and, and Will Smith. Yeah, so I, I watched him. Reviews. I got to see that. If I was like that, he was good. He seemed like he gonna be. He gonna do th- good things with Dream Chasers, mm-hmm. the record label too. Yeah. That's what's up. Shit. But if, have you ever shot your shot to, you know what I'm saying, different labels, big, like big labels? Mm-mm, not shit. Yeah. I got to do, uh, uh. Or do you want to do independent and in just be like, trust me? It's about market. what makes sense mm-hmm. when that time comes for real. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, you know, if you're in that situation where they able to give you some up front and it makes sense, you know what I mean, all the way around the table for everybody, you know, you might have to take that. It depended, it might be a longer ride for you. Yeah. Or would it be better just to take a distribution deal? Mm-hmm. It just depends, you know what I mean? It depends on how big your buzz is when that time comes. Yeah. For some people, you know, the distribution is all they need. Yeah. You know what I mean? But for other people, they need the label, they need the push, they need yeah. all that. They need management. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When you look at like, you know, like a rapper like T Grizz, you know what I mean, 300 ENT. That's he he need, he got a good record label deal. And then you look at a dude like the baby, he just really got a, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was more of a he was already a name. Mm-hmm. And need you know what I mean? Like the, the Nipsey, that's really just they be trying to just really find distribution. They already need the other stuff they was already outside with. Yeah. Yeah. What would you like though? If you know what I'm saying if you had either the distribution or the record deal, which one do would you rather have? I mean, obviously, if I could do it, you would want to do it independently because that's how you make the most money out of yeah. the situation. But if it came into a situation where it seemed like I was going to be able to get around a group of people that meant well mm-hmm. for me and was really going to help me build my career and put me in a better position yeah. to win, you know, out the city, you know what I mean, and, and let me be who I was, then yeah, I'd do it. You know what I mean? If it was going to be able to help my family and, and help us change the situation, yeah. you know what I mean? But I wouldn't do it if I couldn't be who I was. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You know what I mean? At that point. Well, it's not be able to be who I am. I can't act and rap. I can't act rap. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't do, try to do too much acting in the raps. Yeah. You know, if it's a script, then that's a script. But I do the music, you know. I feel it. Yeah. I feel it. Hey man, well, we appreciate you coming by. You know what I'm saying? Stopping by. Appreciate y'all for having yeah, me, man. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Right, no, Even the game. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, hey, subscribe to the channel, please. Right below. Um, be uh, in tune for more. We got more stuff coming. Hey, check out. You know what I'm saying? His music. Where can yeah, they find? Where, where, matter of fact, tell me your Twitter. You know, the Instagram handle, oh, Twitter handle. Mr underscore real early on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Mr underscore real early Snapchat. Whatever y'all want to do. You know what I'm saying? Real early on YouTube, man. Make sure y'all be ready for that players on live once I'm coming. February 14th, we're gonna shake the streets in a way they ain't never heard throughout the city. You know what I mean? I, I'm predicting the classic type of album out of an independent artist. You know, I hope that everybody grasps it. You know what I mean? And I appreciate Fire Wine, my man, to have me at, at, the, at the interview, man, my cousin, DCR, man. Let's, let's, let's make sure that we put it together, man. You know what I mean? Hallelujah. In fact, you have a listening party? I'm gonna have all that I'm set up, and I need everybody to when they stay focused, you know what I'm saying? That's all gonna be, we're gonna set all that up. If you want it, what you want to help me with that? That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but I know you know the cool stuff. Favors, you, feel you know what I mean? You doing me a few favors. We working together. You know more yeah. than I do on that type of situation. You know? But uh yeah. Except the twenty uh, the fourteenth? The fourteenth of 14th. February is, is well, right. you feel you know what I mean? Get so, it but see the good thing about the listening part is, you know, I mean we could do it before. You know, or after, but you know, it, re- it really won't to me matter too much because they're they gonna want to listen to it anyway. Yeah. Would they you want to have it over here or, or over on the east? We're gonna do it in the, we're gonna do it in the loop because that's what people are comfortable at. Yeah, we just find it somewhere that it wouldn't be too far out. You know what I mean, maybe like a studio downtown, like the TB studio. We get some places that we could find right off of Washington mm-hmm. that I could go ahead and hold up. Maybe uh, get and they have a hole upstairs just mm-hmm. lit up. You know what I'm saying? We can make it pop. But uh, yeah, that you know, I got some good stuff on there like the prayers, the street lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can definitely do that. That's all I can be telling you. That street lights ain't gonna hold nobody up. <laughs>
and let this go. <laughs> and, I got, I got, I, and I got a future with T-Rail, or, or Nelly artists. Okay. On that, you know, the, you know, yeah. the sing, you know, he do R and B. You know, he on, he on tour right now with Jacquees. Okay. So I got a single, you know, what I mean, I got a song with him on that. That's gonna be crazy. Facts. Catch me on one of his remixes. You feel me? You ain't ready. Hallelujah. <laughs> Alright. Man, paint that street light for it. So early. Uh, when I wake up, take a knee, ask the Lord a few favors. Can you please watch over me? And can you answer my prayers? Shit, players only live once, and I'm a certified player. So I know they hate on me, cause I ball too major. <laughs> Shit, they couldn't do the job, so I came in to break the knob. <laughs> and it's real niggas in my circle, I don't do it for no SpongeBob's.